Ladies and gentlemen, here we are a week later, and once again, weapons are getting another big nerf in Warzone. And this time, it's actually a relatively large nerf. Honestly, this is probably what the nerf to the DMR and the Type 63 probably should have been last week. Now, this is actually an interesting nerf because I don't think it's going to completely nerf these weapons into the ground, but at the same time, they're definitely not going to be the beasts that they were before today. So in this video, what we're going to do is go over all of the changes that they have made to Warzone, which is not just to the Type 63 and DMR, but also to the Diametes, to the MAC-10, and also to the Stim glitch as well. So they're trying to get everything together and fix all of the problems that are in Warzone because currently there are a ton of problems. So in this video, we're going to talk about everything that they changed in this warzone update but then also go into what the future is actually looking like and a little bit of some teasers as to what treyarch has been doing over the past couple of days so without further ado let's dive in and talk about what these weapon updates actually are so moving into the patch notes we're just going to dive straight into this first of all the gallantry the mac 10 variant or blueprint was now updated to match the stats of the normal mac 10 before this it had insane range insane damage and a ridiculous fire rate now they've reduce the range and it's more like the normal mac 10 after this moving into the dmr 14 this is the biggest nerf of all the weapons the bullet penetration was reduced from sniper to ar i don't see that as a big deal whatsoever most of the time when i'm shooting someone in the game there is no bullet penetration anyway honestly just don't find this one a big deal the one that is a bigger deal is the damage fall off range from 55 damage to 48 damage after 750 units. Now, before this update, it was 2,500 units, which is insane. I don't know why that was the range that they went with for this in the first place. That is an insane range, but now it's 750 units, which is actually a still a pretty fair distance. Now, keep in mind that up to 750 units, it is still 55 damage the damage did not get nerfed before that it is only after that 750 units now they also increased the recoil increased moderately for the second and third bullet and increased slightly for subsequent bullets so your second and third bullet have a little bit more recoil and then after that there really isn't much i've looked at the recoil plots it's not too insane it's not like this weapon has a massive amount of recoil now nothing crazy there and then locational damage multipliers adjusted so headshots now does less than 100 damage after 750 units so essentially the way to look at this is the headshot damage is exactly the same as it was before up to 750 units and then at long range you don't have that super melty three bullet kill anymore now after this you also have lower torso reduced from 1.1 damage to 1.01 damage so about eight percent reduction there i don't know why there was a multiplier in this area in the first place i find that rather odd but now we know now they also nerfed some of the attachments for the dmr so the front grip the vertical recoil reduction is completely removed and the horizontal recoil reduction was actually increased from 20 percent to 30 percent now the reason why they did this is because the dmr has way more vertical recoil than horizontal recoil so essentially that was the decision there and then the field agent foregrip the vertical recoil reduction decreased from 35 percent to 25 percent and the horizontal recoil reduction increased from 35 to 30. so for the exact same reason they want to make it so the weapon in general has more vertical recoil so it's harder to hit the shot so as far as the dmr goes i still believe that this is going to be one of the top tier weapons in the game it's not going to be ridiculous like it was before it's not going to be unbeatable like it was before but it is still absolutely a top tier weapon which i think is kind of what they wanted I, they wanted this to be a good gun because it's different than the other guns that were good in modern warfare uh but I, i'm gonna have to get some more play time with this to see exactly how good it is uh it's still gonna be decent that's all i will say though after this we have the type 63 so this one they did the same thing as the dmr where they reduced the bullet penetration to be more like an ar they also made the damage fall off from 60 to 45 after 900 units so this one actually now has a little bit more range than the dmr but of course it has more recoil this has just been the way it always was there were also some attachment nerfs as well so for the type 63 the front grip vertical recoil reduction removed similar to the dmr also the horizontal recoil reduction increased from 20 to 30 percent so exactly the same as the dmr and then with the spetsnaz ergonomic grip you have vertical recoil reduction from 45 percent to 30 so that's actually a pretty big deal and then horizontal recoil reduction decreased from 45 percent to 40 so 
some pretty big nerfs with attachments there as well again they're trying to make it more difficult to hit shots with these weapons so honestly i think the bigger nerf is actually to the diamedi so with this one the, they decrease the max damage from 45 to 40 which doesn't seem like a big deal but essentially what this does is increase the bullet to kill up close by one is essentially the way you want to think of it they also made it so that all location damage multipliers are set to one and based on my understanding of this now there is no headshot damage multiplier for the akimbo diametes which is actually a pretty big deal it, basically you're always going to be looking at a seven bullet kill up close with the akimbo diametes so i think this is still going to be usable but it's nowhere near not even close to what it was essentially this is going to make a lot more people use the mac 10 mp5 and weapons along those lines now, the final thing in the patch notes is for the stim glitch they effectively fix this stim glitch so that now people can't just survive forever in the gas which is good this should have been fixed a long time ago in my opinion so i think the big question here is this enough to change up the meta of warzone and to be honest with you i think this is the best step in the right direction that we've had i still think the dmr is going to be one of the most used weapons in the game i just think it still has such low recoil and at short and mid range it's still absolutely melt it's just at that long range where it's going to not quite be the weapon where it was before so still very usable still a weapon that i still think we're going to see a lot of now if you're wanting to switch up your weapons now if you don't think these are good anymore what should you use i think the m16 is good the groza is good the ffar is good at mid and short range using that with like a sniper with like the car 98 is definitely a decent option on top of this you can go back to some modern warfare weapons you can use something like the grau or the cr56 amax is probably the best assault rifle as of right now so all of these are very viable weapons that you can actually use and can compete with the other weapons in the game which is good i like to see the variants hopefully this is what they push for more and more and i wouldn't be surprised if eventually maybe two three weeks from now we potentially see another dmr nerf as well but as far as the diamedes and the type 63 still decent weapons but just not the beasts that they were before now as far as what else is going on in the call of duty community in the past couple of days first of all tomorrow we have the mid-season update for black ops cold war so stay tuned to the channel when that update comes out out, i'll bring you guys all the information on everything that changed there on top of this we are also seemingly getting some sort of reveal for a zombies map on friday that is 115 day january the 15th and over the past two days we've got a bunch of different teasers for this new zombies map on twitter on instagram on facebook and they're the images that you're seeing on screen here now i am not really the zombies lore guy or anything like this but what i will say is based off of these images it appears as though this map is taking place in quezon in vietnam now as far as this location there is a mission in quezon in black ops 1 the mission is called sog it takes place with frank woods alex mason and hudson um it's an interesting mission i don't know if that's the exact location of the zombies map but based off of everything that i am seeing that appears to be where this zombies map is but anyway that is everything that happened in today's update that's what's going on in the call of duty community let me know what you think of these weapon updates it's interesting i'm going to be really interested to see if they end up having to nerf the dmr again and like i said before i want to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments if you enjoyed the video it's always appreciated if you hit that like button new to the channel like what you see want to stay up to date on all my videos be sure to hit that subscribe button turn notifications on i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're making